Abdominal aortic aneurysms are more common in men than women. If the aneurysm bursts, it immediately becomes a life-threatening condition. At Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs, Dr. Anna Gasparian explains what an abdominal aortic aneurysm is and some possible risk factors. Abdominal aortic aneurysm is a dilatation, which means a ballooning out of the largest blood vessel that leaves your heart, the aorta. Um, this happens usually in elderly gentlemen that are above the ages of 60 years old um, who have smoked cigarettes and who have uh, high blood pressure, um, hypercholesterolemia, and a genetic predisposition. The signs and symptoms of an aortic aneurysm are very subtle. Actually, if a person has an aneurysm, they would not know that they have it unless they undergo a screening. Dr. Gasparian discusses diagnosis and treatment for these aneurysms. Once an abdominal aortic aneurysm is diagnosed, either by an ultrasound or by a CAT scan, uh, the treatment would be depending on its size. Surgical repair could be two kinds. There is a minimal invasive method, which is done endovascular, where small little cuts are made in the groin arteries and a stent is inserted into the aorta. Um, to cover the aneurysm, and this is all done under fluoroscopy. The second option is doing it open surgical repair where it's a large cut in the abdomen that is from the sternal bone all the way to the um, midline of the abdomen um, and where the aorta is opened and surgically fixed by the surgeons. The first repair is minimally invasive. Patients usually go home in one to two days. Whereas the open repair, the patients end up staying in the ICU about three to four days, followed by an in-hospital stay for about six to seven days, after which they of course follow up, but not as intensely as they would with the minimally invasive repair. This is a model depiction of what an abdominal aortic aneurysm would look like. This is where the blood would fall into the aorta. These would be the renal arteries right here. And here is the bubbling of the aorta um, in the infrarenal position beneath the renals before the iliac arteries. We repair the abdominal aortic aneurysm using an endovascular graft in the minimally invasive method where small little cuts are made in the groin arteries. A stent is then inserted into the aorta. It's placed right underneath the kidney arteries and then it excludes out the aneurysm. Hence, when the blood flows through the um, aorta into the aneurysm, it bypasses the sac and flows through the covered stent graft into the lower extremities. Dr. Gasparian talks about the dangers of having an abdominal aortic aneurysm rupture. Once the aorta ruptures, this becomes a medical emergency. Only one out of the five people that make it to the hospital actually survive. Knowing the severity of how emergent the situation is, if a person experiences signs or symptoms of a rupture, they should come to the emergency room as soon as possible. The symptoms would be abdominal pain and mostly back pain, very fast heart rate, sweatiness, feeling dizzy, and just an impending doom as if the person was going to die. Repair of the ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm is a life-saving procedure. Um, that's why it is adamant that the patients present to the emergency room as soon as possible. From the surgeon's perspective, it's very gratifying to be able to repair these aneurysms successfully and uh, save the patient's life.